Hi everybody, it's Joni from Joni's Journals and I am back again today because as I promised, we are going to do some stamping and some decorating on our sloppy file folder that you guys helped me decorate earlier today. And we are going to see what we can get done. I have some ideas. I pulled out some of my stamps and I know you can't see what they say, but I figured they were typical good stamps to use in our little mycologist notebook. And I have my ink ready and all my little snippets. So we should be set to go. So let's see, let's start with our stamping. Uh, if you haven't seen this, this is my sloppy file folder. Um, it's part of my mycologist notebook. I did a video on that where we decorated the cover and earlier today we went through and we decorated the inside covers of the journal and well of the file folder insert I should say and also the front cover so what I wanted to do was I wanted to come back and I wanted to do some stamping and add some um, of the curator snippets to it and and make it a little bit grungier as you can see we haven't decorated the back of the insert yet but I still have some things I need to cut out a bunch of things that I need to cut out from the kit the kit is huge it's once again it's Tracy Fox creative um, the mycologist notebook and so, yeah, I still have a bunch of photos and a bunch of different little things that I need to cut out. And so I will probably get to that later on today. And I don't know if maybe I'll decorate the back of it and start to decorate the back of it. And bring you guys along to add some more stuff to it. I still have mushrooms and things I need to cut out and have to sort through my Tim Holtz ephemera. But yeah, I figured we could get started with this today. So I thought that I might stamp, inspect it on the front here, alongside the photos and on this little pocket that has this little clip here. Because I thought that if he had clipped papers on that he might be waiting for someone to inspect the photos for him. So let's go through and Let's do our stamping and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna add some of the faux. Well, I'm trying to get it so it's not glaring. <laughs> Although I have lots of lights in this room today and it's very bright and sunny here in Florida. Um, I thought what we might do is get the stamping done and out of the way. And then we would come back and we would add some of the tape. Now let's see, we stamped red on the front and this is a red label, but let's see. Whoops, we have the approved stamp here. And then I had some a little star stamp, which I think maybe you can see if I turn it just the right way. So I thought that I might do the approved in red. I seem to have the dropsies. While I was gone, I went and got some more laundry done in the machine and folded and let's see in case you're interested i am using uh, ranger archival in faded jeans and in barn door okay in case you were wondering what the colors were and let's see if we can get that stamped right here on this label so yeah as i mentioned earlier Hubby's at work and the child. Oh, it didn't stamp all the way. Let's see. Can we line it up? Mm, do we want to? Let's see. Let's try and get it. See if it'll work. Nope. That's okay. We won't worry about it. It's because we already put this on to the journal and it does have some bumpy things underneath it but that's okay no one ever says that anything come back comes back stamped perfectly so let's see let's add some of these little coffee splatters too 
And maybe what we'll do is to hide the missing part of the um, approved, we'll stamp a splatter over it. I just bought this ink the other day at Michael's. If you remember last weekend, I said that I had done, oh, I had done a bunch of um, shopping for order pickup because Michael's had that wonderful 40% off everything. And when I found out it was also off of Ranger and Tim Holtz products, I jumped on the bandwagon and I went over and I bought a bunch of stuff. And that was one of the ink pads that I bought. Okay, let's see. Will we be able to, let's not go in the exact same spot. And let's add some blotches like our sloppy mycologist spilled his coffee. Oh, see, that worked out good. Even though we missed his face before, we added a little coffee to it and it made it look like it was a little bit sloppy anyway. All right, let's see if we add some more splotches here. Let's try to get some, whoops. Let's try to get some on the edge of that tuck and also onto our photos. If we push really hard, we should be able to get some coffee on there. Oh yeah, look, see it worked. Okay, these are a stamp that I bought um, on Amazon and they were a cheap, little set of coffee rings and things. And I love them. I keep them in a little Ziploc because like I said, they are a cheap set. And so they don't come with a nice storage case or a store play, way to store them like a lot of the Tim Holtz do. All right. Ooh, how about if we put, did we put, what did we put on the front? We put inspected and we put approved. So maybe do we want to add certified on here? Yeah, let's add certified. What color should we use? Let's use black. I have an assortment of inks out. And this is the um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Black Soot. We can add black. Why not? You can see the stamps are stained. Once again, this was an inexpensive set that I picked up on Amazon, I was looking for a specific type of stamp and this one popped up and it was inexpensive enough. And it is from what I'm judging, a cheap imitation of uh, Tim's, uh, oh gosh, what's it called? Uh, Field Notes, I think it's called, his stamp set. But I didn't buy it for that reason, I bought it because I wanted uh, dates. Oh, there we go, that worked. <clears throat> so once again, it's not the best stamp set and I didn't buy it in lieu of buying Tim's set. I bought it for some other things that it had on it. So, because I do have the Field Notes set as well and I love it, okay. Now you can see I did some decorating back here. I also did some decorating in the front here. I had put down a bit of my faux cellophane tape and one of the curator snippets. Um, let me see if I bring you down a little bit. We're doing kind of close up work now. Let's see if I can get you to come in a little bit. Yeah, I think that might be better. Okay. Um, I was not sure if I could use my PVA glue over the cellophane tape because it is, well, what we call contact paper. And I didn't know if the glue would let the snippets stick to it, but it worked, it stayed. So that was my test run. And I also did a little decorating back here because I added another one of the mushrooms from Tracy's kit. And I added some little snippets. I wanted to add the mushroom, but I wanted something under it. So I did that and this little piece kept escaping from me. <laughs> so <laughs> I figured instead of him running away on me, I would just add him to the 
page before I lose them because it bounced out of my hands twice. I wanted to make sure all of my inking was done before I came back to do some of the decorating with you guys. And it, I dropped it on the floor twice. <laughs> so I said, oh, you're not getting away from me again. I'm gluing you down, you little bugger. All right, let's see. Let's put received up here on this label. Yeah, let's see if we can get it straight. How about if I put it down here? I might be able to see it better. That'll work. Okay, I think we have another little bump under this stamp so we might have a little bit of a no it came out okay i thought we were going to have another little blank spot there and what should we do should we add how about we add a number five onto here and let's do that in some what is this walnut stain these are my ink pad minis and i find that they work really really well when I wanna do stamping with blocks, um, instead of doing stamping on my stamp platform, which I don't use very often anymore because I find that I'm enjoying using my blocks. Excuse me, I have to cough. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. As you know, I'm dealing with yet another cold. All right, let's see if I got enough ink on here. Let's put our number five right here. I love to stamp over stamps and get a kind of a special effect. Okay, well, I didn't put enough ink on, but that's fine. We can still see it. Can you guys see it? Let's see. There you go. The number five and received. All right, um, what else can we put on here? Let's see. How about if we add some more coffee splotches? And we'll just take, oh, this is the one that doesn't wanna open. Okay, we're gonna just pull it up, there we go. I think what happened was when they put the actual ink pad inside of its little home here, I think that they must have gotten glue on the edges and therefore it doesn't really want to come apart. Okay, let's push this down on here. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, see, that's pretty awesome. Okay, not gonna complain about that. And let's see, is there anything else we wanna stamp on here? I think we're gonna try another inspected stamp on this little pocket right here. So let's grab the barn door archival and ink this little stamp. And I think, okay, I think that's enough ink. I think what I wanna do Maybe there's an edge there. Let's see if we just get it like this. We'll probably avoid the edges of the pockets, you know, the little flaps that are underneath. And we should get a clear impression. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, we did. You can't really see too well onto the colors, but hey, I don't care. I'm really kind of new to stamping on my journals. Um, it's not something I have practiced a lot in the past. Um, I don't know why. I just never seem to, to do it. I wanna add another bit of coffee splotch to this back page as well. And let's see, where can we put it? You know what? Let's put it up here on the pocket, uh, not on the pocket, on the photo, because we already have it over here. So it'll look like our sloppy mycologist really made a mess. And we'll just add some splotches there. Okay, yeah, there we go. I love this swatch stamp, can you tell? 
you'll probably come back and there'll be more coffee splotches <laughs> than there will be anything else on here. All right, let's move my stamps. Okay, and let's get to adding on our little snippets. Now, I have pulled out a bunch, like I said, and I did ink them. And so I have quite an assortment to choose from. Let's use, might get my, whoops, what did I drop? Oh, get my number five out of the way. And I thought, let's see, should we add our tape first? No, you know what? I think I'm gonna add the snippets first and add the tape later. I want to put the tape on. You'll see I have added a pin to my glue, which will hopefully stop me from being the glueless crafter today because I was having some problems with that. And, oh, well, see, I still have glue. Okay, my glue's coming out. All right, let's add this little guy kind of... I think I want to add him over here and bring out the blue in the picture. And maybe we'll add this one. This is botanical history. It says, well, it says botanical histology. Let's add that one over here, on here like this. And we can put that right on top of the the journal I mean the top of the cover here and let's see what else I had pretty much sorted out by color what I thought I might want to add and we can add let's put this here how about that we'll put that one down there like that and maybe we'll just put this over here yeah this, I had to have the curator snippets. I've never owned them before. I always buy the field note snippets that comes with the, the little mushrooms and um, the flowers and things. But, and I never really, I don't think I realized that there was just a kit that had these little curator labels in them. And... I was watching someone on YouTube the other day and they were using their curated snippets and they showed us what they had. And I was like, wow, I don't think I ever really realized that there were just those available. Okay, let's see. We also have these little guys here. How about we put this one over here and we'll do this one like this. So then we sort of have a little pattern. And we'll keep it, what's the word I want? Not synchronized, but we'll keep it, mm, can't think of the word. Okay, we'll put that one there like that. Can you see, guys? I feel like if I bring you in a little any further, oh, we had a little glue squidgeage. Let's get a piece of paper towel and clear that off. I feel like if I bring you in any further, you're not going to see the whole effect of the journal. Okay. So I like that one like that. Should I put this one? Yeah, let's put this one here like this. <clears throat> and see if we like the way that looks. I also pulled out um some of the specimen slides that I showed you last week. I think we decorated a couple of them together and we're going to tuck those in the pocket in the back of the um insert. I think that's good for now. Let's move along and see what we have here. Oh, we wanted to add some tape. That's right. Okay, this is my tape that I made last week in my video. And I thought we might make it look like we had to tape our um, photos down. And so that I made, I would add it onto the front of the journal. I do admit I have cheated 
and I have started the tape because although it really is relatively easy to start this tape, it's just like starting a vellum sticker. I am going blind. <laughs> I can't see without my little readers. And that was one of the things I was supposed to do today was to call to make an eye appointment. I can't see without my readers on and I have to bring everything up close to me, which is nearly impossible. I'm gonna push this down. You'll know if you watched my video last week that I am not going to push on this with anything other than my fingers because although the ink that we added is permanent, you can see it doesn't come off on my fingers, it will scrape off of the um, contact paper if you rub it too hard. All right, here's another piece that I prepared. And I'm just checking to make sure you can see what I'm doing. And I think that we're gonna put that like that and we're gonna cut this a little bit off here. But yeah, I have to make an eye doctor appointment. I usually generally wear glasses for distance and I wear them only when I'm driving. I find them annoying. And because I don't need them really all of the time for distance, I don't want contact lenses or anything like that. So, but I'm finding in my old age that perhaps I do need a pair of glasses to wear when I'm crafting or when I'm sewing. And I do have a pair that I keep on my desk for close-up work. I think that's enough tape on there for now. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Let's go inside. You see, I added a piece here and that's where I experimented with the um, ability for my glue to stick down to the um, contact paper so that I could see if I could put these snippets over the glue. And let's see if we can find some little ones here that we might want to put on. I think we could, hmm, I think that one shows up better on there. And we'll just put this little one here. How about we go like that? You know what? Let's put our tape down first because like I said, we do know that our glue will stick on here. Let's see, is that piece too long? No, that piece actually will fit. All right, let's see if I can grab a hold of it and we'll stick down our glue. I mean, we'll stick down our, our faux cellophane tape on here like that. Okay, now it looks like our little picture is taped down to our desk. <laughs> I'll refer to it as our desk. And now we'll grab our little snippets, put that one there, and we'll glue these on too. Let's get our glue going. There we go. And we'll put that, this one right here. Okay, and we'll just push it down a little and then we'll grab our other little one and we will, oops, got a glue bubble. We will put this one on here like this. There we go. Oops, we got a little glue squidgeage. Let's get that. I have one of those little erasers that will erase the excess glue. And when I see that there's like one of those little shiny areas where you really don't want there to be, oops, sorry, I moved ya, where you don't really want there to be um, any evidence of glue, you can uh, use that on there. I think I have, so have these little guys. Is that, I want it to show up. I don't know if those will show. Hmm, I think they're okay. All right, let's put those. 
How about we put those down here? Then they really show. All right, let's do that. Let's move this up a little so that I'm sure you're seeing what I'm doing. And let's put some glue on those pieces. And we'll decorate around on there. So, here we go. I think we'll put that one tilting this way. And that is Etermlel Pig. <laughs> I have no idea what that says. Don't even know if it applies to mushrooms or mycology, but hey, let's just go with the flow. All right, let's put that there. So, yeah, while I was on my, oop, I moved you again. So sorry. While I was on my little break from crafting, I put in a third load of laundry. I folded a load of laundry. And I had a little lunch. Made myself peanut butter on cinnamon raisin bread. Which, yeah, I know, you probably think that's weird, but that's okay. Everybody likes what they like. Okay, we'll get rid of the glue squidgeage over there. <clears throat> and so there we have that. I just feel like we're missing something up in there. But let's see. Let's go on and we will... Maybe I'll put a little stamp up there. We may grab back out that little splotch stamp and... Um, do a little bit more stamping on there. Okay, now I have this nice big one and I did look to see where I might like this one. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna balance out the large red tag over here and see if I wanna add this one on top. I feel like my light is really glaring on everything I'm doing. So I'm gonna push it back a little. I hope that didn't make it too dark. Let's just push this. Okay, I think we're good and I think you can still see. I wanna try and balance off that big red label on the side there and see if that looks good like that. Yep, I don't wanna to cover too much of my mushroom, so I'm gonna pull it up just above the top of my mushroom. And let's put that down. And we may even add some of the cellophane tape onto the back here. I think where we might put it is, is this one of the pieces I started? No, nope, I think this is one of the pieces that I started. Let's see. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Oh, here's a piece. Okay. Let's see if I can get this started on camera with you without having to grab for my readers. Like I said, it's just like starting a vellum stamp. There we go. And I use my little um, all here that my friend Cheryl made for me. There we go. All right. Oh, this was one of the pieces I started. All right, let's pull that off. All right, and let's put a little tape. I think we're gonna put a little tape up here on our label that says received and make it look like we stuck that down. Yeah, I think that's good. Can you guys see that? I pull it up a little, is that better for you? And let's see, where else? Do we have another piece that started? I think so. Okay, I think I tried to start this one. And, oh, I think we got it. There we go. Okay, there we go. See, it really is relatively easy to do this. Let's try putting a little bit of the tape. How about we make it look like hmm, our envelope was taped closed? Let's do that. Let's put our little tape there. Let me grab my paper towel and maybe give this a little 
brush down. There we go. And rub that one down too. So yeah, there we go with our little tape. All right, let's get back and try and see if we want to add some more of our snippets. I think, I think that one would look pretty good right there on top of the mushroom. Okay, remember, this is our sloppy mycologist's desk. So anything that he has laying around is probably something he just tossed there. So these little labels are probably things that he was supposed to use to label his pictures and label his little samples and his specimens. And he just has them laying around all over the place. I keep banging into you and I am so sorry. Let me, let me grab a couple of more of these. And that one has a big one on it near it already. Let's see if we just want to add maybe put that like that on there. All right, let's do that. I'm going to push this up so you guys can see. And we'll get this one put down too. I have a nice quiet day today. If you follow me on social media or if we're friends on Facebook or if you're um, a member of my Joni's Journals, um, Joni's Journals Facebook, you will know that my husband has been doing some construction around our house the past couple of weekends, and it has been very noisy in here. And so <laughs> to try to make a video was nearly impossible. And in fact, the ones that I did manage to get out last week were done during the week. All right, let's see if, do we want to add a label here for him? Sure, let's put that there. And then I have two little ones left that I do want to add onto my big red received label up on the top there. All right, let's put this one here. And we're going to go like that. We have a little glue coming out as usual, but that's okay. Okay, we got that there. And then I have these two little ones still left of the ones that I picked out. And I think I'm going to add them onto the received label and they will be going over the coffee splotch. So you'll know that not only did our little mycologist friend spill coffee, but he went ahead and threw stuff down on his desk anyway, <laughs> even afterwards, I guess without trying to clean up his mess. All right, let's add a little glue on there. And then we'll just add this tiny little one. I think we'll put this one like this. And the red will pop out along with the red label. So there we go. We've added our little curator snippets and some of our tape. Do we wanna go back and add some more tape? I have a nice big thick piece that I could probably put right there. So yeah, all right, this one was started, so let's add it. What the heck, why not, right? We're sitting here amongst friends. Oop, now it's stuck to my fingernail. Okay. Yeah, let's put that. Let's try to get it maybe so it covers the mushroom and a couple of the snippets and also our photo. And it's not it's not too bad to add it because you can see through it still. And the illusion it gives of the yellowed tape just adds to the fun. Okay. Now we said we wanted to add a little bit more stamping. And quite frankly, I don't remember where it was. I think it was here. I think we wanted to add another coffee splotch. So let's see if we can get this ink open again. 
and pull, pull, pull. Joni, come on, be a strong little buckaroo. Oh, my lordy. I think I'm going to take some alcohol, and I am going to clean around the edges of the lid and see if maybe I can get some of the glue off and make it a little bit easier for myself to get that open. All right, we have a little tiny splotch on here. So let's turn it and put a splotch right there and give a little joie de vivre. Okay, onto the photo. Do we wanna add anything else? Mm, let's add a little bit more of the splotches down on the bottom photo here like this because he did make a mess on here, you guys. We have to name him. I don't know what I wanna name him. How about Theodore? We could name him Theodore. All right, so there we go. We have that done. And we have the front done. And we have our little tape and everything on there. Can you see what we did? There we go, like that. And we did the inside with our tape and our snippets. Whoop. Let's go here. And that's what we did on there. All the little things we added. All right, let's tuck some of our little tags in. I'm going to cover this again just because I don't want to stick anything in it because it is permanent ink. Okay. I pulled out two of the specimen slides that we made together last week. You can see them there. Okay, let me lift my light a little. Okay, that might make it easier. There we go. Okay, and so we're going to tuck them in our little pocket. We're going to put that one there like that and try to get that in there. And then maybe we'll just tuck this little one in here as well, like so. So there we have our two little specimen slides. And let's see what else we have. I have our other little slides and things in our tag that we made together. And that's the one that goes into our cover. But here's one of the ones that I made that I said to you was like the negatives um, that come in your photos if you have your film developed. Well, I don't know if they still do it, but you get negatives for the pictures. And so that, will probably fit nicely right in here. Oh, look, see, it goes right in. Our pocket is dry from earlier. Tuck that in like that. And then I had pulled out tags earlier in the earlier video. And maybe I'll tuck one of those in there too. Hmm, let's pull that one out. I kind of like that one kind of quiet and calm in amongst the chaos of Theodore's desk. And we'll just tuck that in like that. So we have that there. And then we just need a little tag for the front. And let's see, should we put the one that we made together last week? Yeah, let's put that one in. We'll slide that one in there like so, that goes in there. I think I've, oh, there we go, all the way in. And which one matches that best? Oh, definitely that one. We are gonna slide that one in there with it. And there we have it. Well, guys, we, do, oh, we still have our tuck. Oh my goodness, Joni, where is your brain? Let's see, I think for temporary for now, we will tuck in this little tag in here, like so. 
And then maybe we'll slide this one in with it too. And I think that'll look kind of cute. We have the two full labels on our tags sticking out. Yep, we have filled our pockets and we have decorated our little sloppy file folder. So yeah, guys, I will talk to you soon. I am going to get my videos uploaded and I will probably come back and do another one tomorrow. I have some ideas for some of the um, ephemera that's in the kit. I want to make a, if I can find it, a little tag journal, a little flip thing out of these. And maybe we'll decorate, well also I want to use these. These are pretty cool too. These remind me of, um, um, oh gosh, bookmarkers these two long ones. So maybe we'll make some bookmarks. I don't know if we'll get this all done tomorrow. You know, I've got high hopes. And then we have these long, thin ones, which I don't know quite what I want to do with those yet. So I have to think about that. But yeah, we will definitely come back. I think we are going to decorate tags and maybe make our little tag book. Um, and we'll put some little tabs on them and maybe decorate them with some... Uh, thread or some, what do you call it, string. We'll, we'll see how we do that. But I'm going to sit and I'm going to make some tabs and get everything ready for us so that we can get to that tomorrow. All right, guys. Thank you for coming along. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and comment. And as I said in my earlier video, I do really want to thank everybody who's comments, who comments. Um, I answer soon. And this was a bad week. I, I normally get back faster than I, than I have been this week to people and, and giving them answers and replies. And, but I, I do like when you comment. All right. So you guys have a great rest of your day or your night, um, wherever you are. And I want to say hi to my friend, Nat Williams. She has a YouTube channel, which I will try to remember to link below. Um, we were talking about the fact that I was going a little haywire making my faux vintage cellophane tape. And we both agreed that, you know, the more you make, the bigger the pile you have. So you always have some on hand. All right, guys, I will see you soon. Hugs and love. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, and comment. Okay, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.